Hello everyone. In the previous video, we looked at the time magic function for Python. In this video, we will look at the time it magic function. Uh, this is again a Python function and we use it with Jupyter notebooks. In the previous function, when we use time, it tells us the time taken for a particular task. For example, you want to find out how long a data uh, transformation or data loading or data extraction task takes. You can use the time function. But sometimes what may happen is that system resources may be available and the execution may be faster. So you might want to run the timing task for multiple times to see the average time and use that. So time it function actually runs multiple loop of the same task and gives us the average time. So uh, for example, I've got this function where I'm assigning X. So I'm here I'm using a double percentage sign as we've already discussed that when we using magic functions, we should use a percentage or double percentage depending on how many lines the code goes through. So in, if it is one line, you just use single percentage, but if it is going to be multiple lines, like two lines in this case, we're going to use double percentage sign here. So what I've done is uh, we're assigning X a, a value of range, and then we are just doing a max of X. So if I press shift and enter here, and it might take slightly longer, so it has done 1000 loops and it says best of three. So it is taking approximately 1.01 .01 milliseconds per loop. So it has give, so you could use this to uh, check out the average time taken for a data extraction task. And I've got another one where I'm just going through a loop. And here again, I'll do a shift enter. And it is, it is doing its internal processing to see like it will do a thousand loops on this and it is going to say best is three is 1.8 seconds per loop. And it's done like best of three. So it's an interesting one. I hope you find this uh, video useful and uh, you can use the time it function to uh, find the average time taken per task. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Thank you.